The next section of our Megalab experiment is the cobalt nitrate test. For this test, you need to get a charcoal briquette and then use the drill and drill in a couple of holes on one side of the charcoal briquette. They do, just, they do not need to be deep holes, um, just little shallow depressions. They do need to have some space between them. That way, um, when you do your reactions in these holes, they won't leak into the other hole and contaminate that uh, reaction site. So for this cobalt nitrate test, we are actually going to be doing the test inside this charcoal briquette. I've already pre-drilled my holes into the briquette, so now I am ready to add my substance that I'm going to test. And I'm only going to add it to one of these two holes. In this test, you uh, will perform this during the Knowns Week for three ions. They are the zinc, aluminum, and magnesium ion. In this demonstration, I am going to do the zinc ion. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a little scoop of zinc into my charcoal briquette. doesn't take a lot. And then after I place my small amount in there, I'm going to take my distilled water and add a few drops just to moisten that so that it's not likely to fall out of the briquette. I don't want to oversaturate it because I don't want the liquid and the substance to spill out when I have to turn it on its side. Um, in this lab, we're also going to need our Bunsen burner lit. For this lab, the Bunsen burner should have a yellow flame. And in order to get that yellow flame, the air intake here needs to be completely closed to give us that yellow flame. So it's the opposite of what we've been using so far. And see that we get a nice, big, yellow, wavy flame. In this lab, you're also going to need what is called a blowpipe. And this is located on the back counter. Um, this takes a little bit of just getting comfortable with this um, positioning. You need to hold the charcoal briquette at an angle on one side of the flame. And it's this bottom hole that has my substance in it. I'm going to use this blowpipe um, to blow the flame into that hole in order to heat the substance inside the hole. The key to this is blowing at a steady pace um, and a slow, slow, steady pace. Um, if you if you do it too fast, it kind of just blows the flame um, completely out. What you're wanting to get is by inserting this blowpipe into the middle towards the bottom of the flame. And if I just blow softly, it creates that blue jet off to the side. I'll do that one more time. So once again, you don't want to blow too hard or too fast because then um, you're basically just going to blast the entire front of your charcoal. And what you're really trying to do is concentrate that blue jet into just that single hole. Okay, so I'm going to angle my briquette just right. And sometimes you have to take a break to catch your breath. You want to heat this for about a minute. And 
once it starts bubbling up like it's kind of doing right now. And then once you've heated that, it asks you to record a color in your data chart. This white that you're seeing around here is really just the charcoal burning. If you've ever experienced um, cooking outdoors with charcoal, it turns this white gray color. We're looking more inside the hole as to what color it changes. A lot of times I've not seen a color form on the first heating. The color will truly appear after the second heating. So once we've heated that, we're going to add in our 7 to 10 drops of cobalt nitrate. So I just put in 8. And then we're going to heat this one more time. I'll allow that to kind of soak in. And then we'll heat one more time, and then a color should begin to appear. It's starting to form, um, and once again, colors are not showing up very well on my camera, but this zinc is turning a green color on the outside right here. Unfortunately for this test, unlike the borax bead, this test doesn't last overnight. The color will only last for probably about 10 to 15 minutes and then it'll begin to fade away. So I'll probably make a new briquette for each class in the beginning. Um, I just wanted to demo the procedures for you so you have an idea of what these steps look like and then I will um, attempt to make a briquette at the start of each class so you can get a feel for what those colors are going to look like. But zinc does turn a green. Um, I believe that aluminum, if I remember correctly, makes a blue and that magnesium is a peach color. The zinc um, is typically the easiest one to form so it would probably be the one that I would start with again. And just like in the borax bead test, how the cobalt was the easiest one to get to form, um, the zinc in this test is the easiest. Aluminum would then be the second, and magnesium is kind of challenging to see that peach, because as you can see, the outside of the briquette changes to that uh, charcoal gray color, which can sometimes mask the um, peach color of the magnesium. So tomorrow look for my briquette that I make at the beginning of each class.